me. Jesus laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life. He laid down his life for you and me. He laid down his life. He laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life for you and me. He laid down his life. For you and me, Jesus laid down his life, Savior laid down his life, he laid down his life for you and me. Laid down his life, he laid down his life, he laid down his life for you and me. Jesus laid down his life, Jesus laid down his life, Jesus laid down his life for you. He laid down his life. He laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life for you and me. Do you know that? He laid down his life. He laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life for you and me. Do you know that, brother? Lay down his life, Emmanuel. Lay down his life for you and me. He laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life. I tell you now, he laid down his life for you and me. Jesus laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life. Jesus laid down his God bless you, sister, for you and me. Jesus laid down his life. Jesus laid down his life, Jesus laid down his life for you and me. He laid down his life, he laid down his life, he laid down his life for you and me. He laid down his life, Jesus laid down his life, Jesus laid down his life for you and me. Jesus laid down his life for every one of you here. Our God is awesome God. He laid down. He laid on his life for you and for me. He laid on his life for you, the sinners, for every one of us. He laid it down. And then he laid it down because he has got the power to take it up again. Jesus laid on his life and then he take it up again. Our God is a good God. He said, I laid down my life. And I have the power. I have the spirit of the Lord in me. And I'm taking it up again. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So he laid it down. He says, look, I lay it down on, on purpose. On purpose in order to save every one of you here. In order to deliver every one of you. That's why he laid down his life. He laid down his life to save, to deliver everybody. Set everybody free. He lay it down. And he says, You know what? I lay it down. And I'm taking it up again. I have the authority. And I have the power to lay down my life. And to take it up again. Amen, sister. God bless you. So I have the power. And I have the authority. I have the unction. I have the anointing. Because anointing is in the bones, because anointing never dries, because anointing resurrected him. Our God is in the bones. The anointing is in the bones. The anointing is not in the flesh. The anointing is right there in the bones. The anointing is right there in the spirit. And that's what the Bible says. If you have the same anointing, if you have the same anointing, that the same anointing that resurrects Christ from the dead. It will be the same one that will resurrect you from the dead. Because the anointing has power. And that power is the power of God. And Jesus Christ is in charge of the power of God. Because he brings the anointing down. Do you understand that? Jesus Christ is himself. Jesus Christ brings the anointing down from heaven. Okay? Before Jesus Christ, there's nothing like that anointing. We have the anointing of men. We have the anointing... Of, uh, of, of yes. Yes. Amen. God bless you. Yes. Jesus love you. 
Before the anointing that Jesus Christ brings down from heaven, we have the anointing of Aaron. We have that anointing. So only Aaron was given anointing. Was God bless you, sir. God bless you. It was every Aaron that was given the anointing. He first received the anointing. The anointing that was given to him is made up of the fruit, the vine of the earth. The anointing of Aaron is made up of the vine of the earth. And that is why Aaron could not bear it. Aaron could not die for the people. That's why Aaron sinned against God by collecting all the jewelries that the children of God had got from Egypt and used it to make a golden calf. You remember the golden calf? So the anointing that he receives is the anointing of the earth. But the Bible says that Jesus Christ has an anointing that comes from heaven. Glory be to God. Jesus Christ comes from, come from heaven. And he's got an anointing that comes from heaven. Amen. God bless you, sister. Amen. God bless you, sister. Amen. Amen, brother. Jesus love you. No, it's you, Oh, God bless you. No, no, no. Jesus love you. Jesus still love you, okay? But you have to open your eyes. Open your eyes and see. Don't get blind. Don't be blind. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns. He comes with anointing from heaven, sir. And the anointing that he came with is not like the anointing of Herod. It's not the anointing of Herod. But he comes with the anointing from the Almighty God, from God. Do you understand me? That's the anointing that he came with. Yes. Amen. Amen. Not the anointing of David. The anointing of David came from Samuel. Come from the earth. Come from the fruit of the vine. He didn't come with the anointing of David. Yes. But he came with a special anointing. He was anointed in heaven. Amen. Amen. God bless you, sister. He was anointed in heaven. And the Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. Jesus Christ was first anointed before he came to the earth. And that is why he did not sin. Everybody, do you understand that? Do you know why Jesus Christ did not sin? Because he was anointed already from heaven. So it has no space, there's no chance for him to sin. There's no chance, sister. Jesus love you. Come to Jesus Christ today, sister. Jesus love you. Jesus created the science. Jesus created the science. The science have cheated you. The science have cheated you, they have deceived you, sister. The science have deceived you, the science have cheated you, the science have no life. There's no life in science. That is life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross for us. That is life in the blood of Jesus Christ. Our God is a good God. That is life in the blood. The blood of Jesus Christ. That is why he shed the precious blood on the cross of Calvary. And it says he's finished. It is finished there. He was anointed before he came. And that is why sin could not do anything to him. He could not sin. God bless you. Jesus Christ did not sin. Not even to walk. He did not sin. Because he was anointed originally from heaven. Now the anointing that comes from the fruit of the vine. Now the anointing that you and me receiving today. The anointing that comes from the vine. It's a divine. The divine anointing comes from heaven. That's why he is God. It's only God that received that divine anointing. It is only God that received that divine anointing. It is only God that owned that. He owned the divine anointing. So he came with his anointing. And that is why he did not sin. He did not sin. Because he came with the anointing originally from him. So the anointing came with him. And that is why the anointing will never ever grow that dry. Let me tell you, the anointing of the earth always dry up. And that is, why, that is why today you see many ministers today, they dry up. You see many ministers today, they dry up. Because the anointing dries up. Because the anointing comes from the earth. Look at the fruits of the earth, they're all dry up. Look at the fruits, look at the, look, 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 look at the trees, they're all dry up. That's how the anointing that comes from the trees dry up. But anointing that comes from heaven will never ever dry up. Because it's not made for the, from the fruits of the earth. It is anointing that comes from Jesus Christ, from God himself. That is why he did not sin. That is why there's no guilt that was found in him. That is why he is called God. Jesus, the Son of God, the King of God. Prince of peace. 
Our God is an awesome God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Now you are getting the message. Now you are getting why. The reason why is that what you do not cry on. Now you are understanding the reason why we do not sin. You are not understanding the reason why the word of God says that there is no sin that was found in his mouth. Because he has got a, a different, a divine anointing that comes from heaven. He hasn't got David anointing. He hasn't got Saul anointing. He hasn't got Samuel anointing. But he has got a divine anointing. The anointing that comes from heaven. Our God is a good God. Every other anointing that we receive today comes from the earth, comes from the fruit of the vine. So as the earth dry up, so the anointing that we receive today dry up. And that is why we sin against God. And because we sin against God, Jesus Christ says, Now come unto me, I'm the author of life. He said, Come unto me, I am the author of life. When you come, you receive life, brother. You come, you receive the goodness of God. Jesus Christ, brother. He said, when you are anointing, dry up, come to Jesus Christ. Anyone that has got anointing that is dry up, come to Jesus Christ. He's going to reveal you. He will reveal you. He will reveal you. Because when he comes to Jesus Christ, he gives you a double anointing. He gives you a, a reveal anointing. He reveals the anointing. Our God is good. Our God is good. But the anointing of Jesus Christ never dry up. But the anointing that you receive today dry up. And that's why he says, when you receive the anointing, the anointing dry up. Come back to Jesus Christ. Come to the maker. Come to the savior. And then the anointing will now be refilled. We recharge again. The glory to God. I'm sorry for the people that don't have Christ in them. They need to be pitied. I pity the people, the soul that do not have Christ in them. You need to be pitied. You are so poor, wretched. If you don't have Christ in you, you are the most poorest person on earth. But when you have Christ in you, that is richness. You are blessed. That is blessing. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. When you have Christ in you, you are rich. You are blessed. Because of what? The anointing that you're going to receive, you never had dry up. He will reveal it. You will go to his presence and then he will reveal it. You go to his presence, then he will reveal it. In the morning, he reveals it. In the afternoon, he reveals it. In the night, he reveals it. He reveals his anointing every single day. Hallelujah. That's the anointing that starts. And the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 6, 1 verse 2. Say, Jesus Christ comes. And the day of vengeance, and the day of vengeance of our God. Our God is the day of vengeance. Day of vengeance. Day of vengeance. Day of vengeance. To comfort all that mourn, Jesus Christ comes. He says he comes to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn, the accepted year of the Lord. That's why he said, I'm coming back again. Jesus is coming back again, man. It's really, really coming back. That's why he came. He came to show us the way and to proclaim the accepted day of the Lord and the day of vengeance. He said, day will come when I will avenge. God will avenge. You understand that? God will avenge. You know, in my country, I'm from a beautiful country called Nigeria. And the Bible says that every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner of the house. So you can do whatever you want to do. But one day we come, when the Savior will come with vengeance. The Bible says he's gonna come with vengeance. He come with vengeance. And he will reward everyone according to what you've done. When he come with vengeance, he will reward you. He will reward you according to what you've done. Because he's coming. Jesus Christ. Yes, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming back again, again sir. Jesus Christ. He's a good God. He's a faithful and a just God. So he's coming. The Bible says, I'll set a day in which he will come and avenge. He will come and avenge. Our oh, God is a good God. He will come and judge Herod. Jesus Christ will come and judge the Jesus Christ will come and judge the Pontius Pilate. He's coming to avenge. He said, I'm coming to avenge. Vengeance is mine. I have set a day in which I'm going to judge the world. I will come to avenge whatever they've done 
all those people that spit on him, all those people that throw stone at him, all those people that crucify him, a day is set, he's coming, and then when he comes, he's going to avenge for, for himself. Nobody should avenge for, for, for him. That's why we don't fight. The children of God, you don't fight. You let the battle to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. One day he will come and he will avenge for himself. He will bring justice for himself. He will avenge those. Jesus Christ love you. Better repent from your sins. You are going to hell, sister. Yes, yeah, she's going to hell. She's going to hell, I tell you now. She's going to hell. Yeah, if she comes in that way, she's going to hell. I tell you now. I shall show you now. God bless you, everybody. Jesus Christ is love you. And God is a faithful God. You know, you have hell and heaven in you. And there are fruits. We shall know them. We know those that are in hell already. And we know those that are in heaven. Those that are in hell. They speak the hell language. Then when you know the hell language, then you will know they are going to hell. Straight away. No need to wait for the judgment. They are already gone to hell. Because the hell is in their heart. And heaven is in our heart. Hell and heaven is in your heart. Whichever one you believe. Anywhere you want to go. You want to go to heaven, you want to go to heaven. You are, you are going to heaven from here. You want to go to hell, you are going to hell from here, money. I'm telling you now, the heart is where the hell and heaven is. Yes, hallelujah. And you too. God bless you, mom. And God is a good God. And our God is good. Say it again. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I heard about it. You see, wow. You see, God bless you. Do you want to come and visit us in the church? Come and tell us about your son. Jesus Christ is Lord. Everybody, our God is a good God. Look, Jesus loves you so much, young ladies. Our God is a good God. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same. Ah, uh, God bless you, sister. You are in already, I know. So heaven and hell is in us. So as you are walking past now, if you if you got heaven, it is already in you. If you got hell, Hell is already speaking through you. Like that lady that just walked past. I've got two people here that, that are going to hell. I've seen two people that are going to hell here. You know what happens now? One of them said, give me the sign. Oh, God bless you, brother. God bless you. Jesus love you. That's, that's nothing like God's science that will take you to heaven. Science takes you to hell. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ love us so much, brother. Who do you believe in? God or in science? If it is in hell, or you are among those that have got hell in you, you've got the very, very big hell in you. Come on, come on, talk to me. Come on, talk to me. What, what, what has the science do for you? Tell me. What joy? Ah, joy. God gave me joy. God created me. God healed me. God delivered me. God set me free. God, hey, hallelujah. God set me free. And then he gave me everything. He gave me everything. Our God is good. Even if I don't have, God blessed me with it. And God gave to me. He said to me, I shouldn't worry, I shouldn't bother. But the science said, worry about it. Look at the job. Look at the job. You know what the job is telling you? You know what the science is telling you about the job? Do you know what it... Yes. He helped, she helped people. Yes, she helped people. You understand what I mean? You gotta believe in God. Yeah. Listen to me. Come, come, let, let's talk about it. It's God. Everything comes from God. The medicine he gives to people, it comes from the fruit of the vine. God gives us the fruit of the vine. And from it, we, we, we get healed. We get delivered. Yes. When he gave us the knowledge, he turned it into a chair. Once again. God bless you. He gave us knowledge. He gave us the tree and he gave us the knowledge. Two points. Oh, God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Yes. Yeah, you have to press him because he has given it to you. It's for free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let, let, me, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But you are wrong. Do you believe you are wrong? Okay, let me tell you now. If you are, if you are brother or your sister or your friend give you a car, what do you do? 
That's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm saying thank you, God. So now you see, you see, your science did not help you. Your science did not help you. Mm. Yeah, because your friend, your friend said thank you to the manufacturer. Your friend take it from the manufacturer. I said to the manufacturer, thank you. Yeah, he said thank you because if it, your friend bought it from the manufacturer, okay, and then give it to you, and then you say thank you. Why can't you thank God? Yeah. God knows everything. Yes. Yeah. Yes, he knows. He knows. He, 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 he knows I'm going to heaven today. That's what? God already knows that you're going to heaven. Yeah, today. Because of the life I'm living today, he knows. Yeah. No, the truth about this is that no. Listen, let me tell, let me tell you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 They are talking of man made. They are talking of movie. Movie is man made. Is it movie? No, it cannot. You cannot give an example with God. Has has had the movie has spirit. Okay, have movie has spirit. Have movie got spirit. No, I said, answer me this question. Answer me this question. Yes, I can prove spirit. Yes, I can prove spirit. Yes, I can prove what God did in the Bible. I, I can pray for you and you get healed now. Then, then come, that's what God did in the Bible. No, that's what God did in the Bible. He prayed, he opened the eyes of the blind, he prayed, and then you get healed and get saved. <laughs> now, let me tell you. Let me ask you one question, brother. Can I ask you one question? Listen, I used to go to church when I was young. My mom used to go to Yeah, so you backslide now. Okay, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, they have changed you now. You go home now, you are changed. Believe you me, you repent from your sins. I, 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 you watch it now. You watch it. You go home, you think about it, you repent. But I want, I want, I want to ask you one question. I want to ask you one question. Does the science have a spirit? A spirit. A spirit. Yeah. No. The answer is no. So that is it. So that is what I'm telling you. You are science. Your science do not have a spirit. Yeah. Do you know what happened after death? Yes or no? Yeah, I know what happened after death. Yes. Yeah. How do you know? I know because the spirits of God have given, should tell me. Through the word of God and the spirit of God have teached me. Yeah. No, 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 no. The Bible comes from heaven. The word of God is inspired by the, by the word of God. It is inspired by God. It is inspired by God. It's like what you're telling me now. Okay, let's let's take for instance. Okay, listen now, my brother. You are speaking to me now. You said you believe in science. Yeah? So science have inspired you. And then you are talking to me now. Okay? So God has inspired me. And that's what I'm talking to No, no, I'm not saying I what, what I'm trying to do is to correct you. Yeah? God inspired us. No. I'm, I want you to understand the truth. The truth is that whatever you are saying now, you said you believe in science, number one. And number two, you know that the science have no spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Okay, everybody, God is a good God. We can see that the science have no spirit. There's no proof to the science. The science do not have any spirit. The science do not have any spirit. So this gentleman is a science. He said he believes in science, but he can approve. He can say that the science do not have a spirit. Our God is a good, this is a good discussion. To God be the glory. But we are serving a God that has a spirit. That the spirit of God, God is spirit. The Bible says those that serve God, serve him in truth and in spirit. So if you don't have the spirit, you cannot serve God. If you don't have the spirit of God, you cannot serve God. Just as the science do not have spirit, the science never have any spirit, not even one spirit, but God has spirit. That's a good difference, a very, very huge difference.
But the Bible says, Jesus Christ came to prepare the accepted day of God. And the day of vengeance, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. Our God is a good God. And Isaiah chapter 34 from verse 8 says, For the Lord has a day of vengeance, a year of recompense, brother. The day of the Lord is coming. The day of vengeance is coming. You will see yourself rewarded by all these false, evil things you have in your mind. Follow the word of your mother. Your mother takes you to church. Your mother takes you to God and you rebel. Rebellion is witchcraft. You know you're a witchcraft, brother. Our God is a good God. Your mother takes you to church and then you leave your way, the word of your mother, because you don't, you don't believe in your mother anymore. Your parents take you to church. You don't believe in your parents anymore. What a shame. Shame to you, brother. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves us with an everlasting love. I do not know how a man or a woman will say he don't believe in his mother. He don't believe in his parents. And he still existing. You don't believe in your mother. You don't believe in your parents. And you are existing. Isn't that witchcraft? It is a witchcraft. Therefore, today, Jesus Christ wants us to repent from our sins and to receive Him as our personal Lord and Savior. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is a good God. The Spirit of the Lord, that's what makes a difference. The world do not receive the Spirit of the Lord, but we, the children of God, will receive the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ gave us his spirit. That's why the world did not know us. The Bible said that the world did not know me, Jesus Christ says. That the world did not know me. The world did not know me. Our God is a good God. So the world did not know me because I come from the past. Therefore, if you're a child of God, if you're a child of God, the world will not know you. The world will not know you. Our God is a good God. Because you've got something different. And something that you got different is the Spirit of God. Because you've got the Spirit of God, Jesus Christ said, Wait, I will send the Spirit, I will send my comforter to you. Once you get the comforter, you become different. You know different. You think different. You no longer follow the science. Because the science has deceived many people today, have destroyed many lives, have killed more than they saved. The science has killed more than they saved. The science has destroyed many lives, many families today. They feel more than they say. But Jesus Christ healed. Our God is a good God. You know, Jesus Christ healed in one day, in one single day, what your NHS healed in, in 10 years. What your science healed in 10 years, Jesus Christ do it in one split of second. Jesus Christ heals every one of us. Jesus Christ heals more than your science. Your science you pay for your science, you go, you pay for your science, you buy medicine with your money, you suffer, you buy medicine and do everything, but Jesus Christ gave you free and gave you free and free and freedom. And science cannot even raise the dead, but Jesus Christ raised the dead. The science cannot even make the blind to see, but Jesus Christ made the blind to see. The science cannot even make the lame to walk, but Jesus Christ made the lame to walk. The science cannot even make the, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the blind the blind from birth to see. But Jesus Christ made the blind from birth to see. So what is the work of science? Money! Money is all about money. Science is all about money. You give money, you take, you buy medicine. But the Bible says, come and buy for free. Come and take for free. Come and drink for free. Our God is a good God. Science gives you oxygen, you pay a lot of money. Jesus gives us the air, free. Science gives you food, they go and manufacture food, you go and pay. You pay with money. But Jesus Christ gives it to you free. Our God is a good God. Whatever science gives to you, you pay with money. But whatever Jesus Christ gives to you, it is free. That is why Jesus Christ is greater. It's wonderful. It's glorious. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you, brother. He gave it to us free. Science never gave you anything free. Never. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Our God lives and reigns forever. 
But Jesus Christ gave us everything free because he's the owner of everything. He gives you health free, he heals you free, he makes the blind to see free, he raises the dead free, he makes the lame to walk free, he makes the, uh, the deaf to hear free. But science will charge you and charge you and charge you. And sometimes some people are blind forever because they, don't, they cannot pay for it. And somebody is saying that he believes in science. Shame to the people that believe in science. Shame. You gotta believe in God. Because God gives science the power. Because God gives science the, the, the fruits that they use to, to do whatever they do and charge people money. All the praise should go to God. All the praise should go to God. Not to a human being that is making money, 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 money monger. Jesus Christ is coming to bring the word unto those that are greedy, unto those that are money monger. Jesus Christ is coming, and his word is coming to those that are greedy, to those that are evil. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves us so much. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, and it says, it says, come unto me, all you that are hungry. I will give you water to drink freely. All you that are hungry, I give you food to eat. If you are thirsty, come to the Lord. I give you water to drink freely. That's it. Young lady, if you come to Jesus, he gives you to eat freely, freely. Come and buy that thing for you. He pays a lot of money to have that. If money don't have that, you cannot be riding that bike. But Jesus Christ gives you your leg freely. You can run. You can do whatever you have with your leg, with your hands, with your eyes. You have eye problems. You go to the eye. You go to the eye shop. They tell you pay hundred pounds to give you glasses. Science. Science take money from you. Science tell you pay money, pay hundred pounds to get glasses, get spare glasses to read. But God gave you your eyes free forever. Science charge you money for all these things. Our God is a good God. And the weather is cold. The weather is cold. I'm wearing this suit today. I'm wearing this coat. I paid a lot of money to have it. If I don't have money, science will not give it to me. But God has given us the body. Our body, free of charge. God bless you, brother. So how can you believe in the science instead of you believing in God? So the truth is that God gives it to you free even if you don't have money. And that's why Jesus Christ came for the low. For those that don't have anything, he came for them. He came to lift them up. He came to feed them. Our God is a good God. If you go to the supermarket, every supermarket that you go to today, there are, there are fruit, there are food and everything from science. You pay money together. If you don't have money, if you take one without paying money, you better be put to prison. But Jesus Christ gave it to us free. We give it all free. We go to our garden. We get it free. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. So we're sharing this word of God today. Don't believe in science, but believe in God. Just recognize science as the wonderful work of God. Don't believe in science. Believe in God. Believe in the Almighty God that gave us the source. God is the source of everything. God is spirit, and the science is not spirit. Jesus Christ care for every one of us. Our God is an awesome God, and Jesus Christ loves you, and Jesus Christ loves me, and Jesus Christ died for us. Save us free. Jehovah, the Lord is coming. The day of vengeance is coming. The day of vengeance is coming. Just as it came for the, for the rich man. For the rich man in Lazarus. The rich man died, the poor man died. The rich man died, the poor man died. And the Bible said that the rich man go to hell. Because he believed in science. The rich man believed in science. And the rich man go to hell. And the poor man believed in God. He goes to the kingdom, he goes to Abraham also. <laughs> The rich man have a lot of things, a lot of money. The rich man have a lot of things in his foundation. A lot of things that science can believe. But he died. The rich man died and go to hell. But the poor man did not have anything. The poor man died and go to the kingdom of God and go to Abraham Moses. You understand that? So Jesus Christ is God. And our God is rich. So that's why 
Lord Jesus Christ come for the lolly. Our God is good. I make people rich. I make people rich. Rich in money. Rich in greediness. Rich in jealousy. Rich in forgiveness. Rich in revenge. And rich in hell. For whose report will you believe? I believe the report of the law. You should believe the report of the law. Jesus Christ loves you. I want you to understand. Don't believe in science, but to recognize science as the work of God. Believe in God. First thing to do is to believe God. Seek God first and all his righteousness. Then every other thing will be added unto you. The science is below and God is above. Science is below. Doctors below. Science below. God is above. Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ loves us. Our God is a faithful and a just God. There is a day of salvation. Therefore, Jesus Christ is Lord. Remember the message today. Jesus came to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Remember the message today, that God has set a day whereby he's going to come and judge us and take his people home. And you are the people of the Lord. Therefore, Jesus Christ cares for you. Jesus Christ loves you. And he come to revenge those that persecute you. He come to revenge those that do you evil. He come to revenge those that take everything that you have. A day has come. And that day is set. And that day is coming. Our God is a good God. Oh, blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God and Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Then our God is our God. And to let everybody know, from Rock Intercessors Ministry, Jesus Christ is Lord. We are the Rock Intercessors Ministries. And we say that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's true, yes. God bless you. What about you, brother? Jesus is Lord. Is it true? Good man. It is true. He doesn't believe. You do. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Don't worry. He will be strong. Very soon, you're going to be strong, brother. Today is the day of salvation, okay? Jesus loves you. Our God is good. Goodbye, everybody. Jesus Christ, bless